Hey everybody, it's Ramona. I have for you a de-stash that I wanted to share with you and there's a new vendor in here so that's why I want to really um, share it. So uh, I last um, April's um, restock for Vintage Chic, I was super happy, got everything I wanted in and out in three minutes. This time not so lucky. I was right there at nine o'clock in the morning. I put everything in the cart. It was already in my wish list. Put it in the cart. There was 18 items. Canada Kim and I are going in on the order. Everything was in my cart. Go to check out like 60 seconds later and 11 out of the 18 are in the cart. So I was definitely not happy about that. So then I was just kind of uh, looking for um, vintage chic D stashes and uh, Crystal B. I'm not exactly sure if she wants me to say her last name, so I shouldn't. Crystal B though. Uh, saw my um what did i do an in search of? i had it in search of before and i think she, i don't know how it goes i got it i got a d stash from crystal i can't remember who initiated it okay doesn't matter move on okay so this is my d stash from crystal b so i have some vintage chic uh another brand and a new to me i've never even heard of on instagram or anywhere i've never heard of that other company so Let's start with the Vintage Cheeks, and it's four, four packs. Um, let me get rid of all this. Okay, so the first one is Ramon's French Quarter, and this was poured on 2 15 of 18. I have not smelled any of these yet. I just got home from work, and I've got lots of wax in my house right now because the Vintage Chic order came, and another bit of business came. So I might, I'm probably gonna film all the videos that I want while I'm, I've got all this stuff, and then I can put it all away. I, I kind of want to post them and just get them out there, but uh, that'd be like too much like overload, Ramona. So we'll just kind of see. Anyway, okay. So uh, Ramon's French Quarter is Cafe au lait, whipped cream, and molasses cookies. So this sounds really good. Coffee and cookies. And it's a pink coin and a brown coin. Or a tan coin, I guess. That's nice. I'm definitely getting the molasses cookie. A little bit of a coffee note, the cafe au lait. More molasses cookie, but it is good. Um, so, and of course, that's only a couple months old, also. So, you know, I've got quite a bit of uh, wax to go through before, so I can put this aside and, it, you know, I won't be waxless. Let's just say that. Uh, okay, before midnight. And this is blackberry jam marshmallow zucchini bread. So this sounded really good to me because I'm 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 liking zucchini bread. I can smell it already. Oh, zucchini bread just has a really you know obviously it's a bakery note, but I mean it's a real bakery note. You can't miss it. Like if you can't you don't have to wonder is it there? Am I smelling bakery? No. If there's zucchini bread in it, in my experience, you know it, and it's bakery that's really good so right at this point in time I'm not getting the blackberry but again we're gonna let that set and see what happens this is Lori and Joe forever which is warm popovers and blueberry jam so that sounds quite yummy oh definitely blueberry jam I'm, I'm getting a popover note too. And you know what it smells like? It smells like, it smells like blueberry pop tarts. That's exactly what it smells like. Blueberry pop tarts. I love blueberry top pop tarts. Out of all the pop tarts in the world, I love the blueberry ones the best. But I don't like frosted pop tarts. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I don't like frosting. I like pop tarts. I just want the pop tart. It's too sweet. It's too, you know, too much frosting. Okay. And the last four pack that I purchased was Coal Miner's Daughter. And this is blueberry muffin cornbread. So this smelled good too. Oh, that's really good too. This, uh, this was born, oh, born. I'm a labor and delivery nurse. This was poured on 8-1-17. I've said that before for some reason. I don't know why. Definitely I'm getting cornbread and blueberry. Kind of like a blueberry muffin, I guess. Can I say specifically it's cornbread? No, I'm getting more of the muffin than cornbread. So this is kind of ready to go. I could probably melt this any old day. 
So that is what I purchased from Crystal. So that was really good. I must have been hungry or thinking about bakery when I bought all that. Okay, so then she also included some freebies, which was super nice of her. Thank you, Crystal, so much, so, so much. And there's, I think, six little bits here from a company called Bohemian Life. And I've never heard of Bohemian Life. And they all have the same name on it. So I'm guessing that's a vendor. And so this looks like a little chunk with little nibbly bits and, you know, pecans and stuff on it. Aroma of rich caramel, pecans, oh, pecans, butterscotch brulee, molasses, and warm, fresh cookies. So that sounds really good, too. Oh, that's really good. So this is what it looks like. Definitely like a warm molasses pecan. Yeah, just kind of rich, deep caramel pecan molasses. No. Yeah, really, really yummy. And this was uh, poured in February also. So these, um, I could probably melt a couple and see how it goes. This one is Blackberry Bay, green and purple for the blackberries. A blend of blackberry, bay laurel, spiced apple cider, oak moss, and woods from our Shadow and Statch men's line, poured in February. Oh, that's good. That's um, definitely I'm getting the bay laurel. That's the predominant note. This would be good at Christmas. Because I'm getting that bay note, and then the, the berries will come out. That is really, really nice. This is a really nice Christmas scent, because and the apple cider in there. And what it doesn't have is cinnamon. And really, really nice. So many blends. I don't, you know, I, I'm not dissing cinnamon in small amounts to enhance something is great. But when all you smell is cinnamon and it overpowers the rest of it, like if this had cinnamon in it, it would completely ruin it, in my opinion, because I think the laurel is really coming through strong, a little bit of the berry, and it's perfect the way it is, and cinnamon would just wipe all that out, and it would just be another cinnamon blend. And this is unique. I really like that one. Okay, this one is called My Chai, which is black tea, cinnamon, ginger root, and black pepper. Oh, it goes on. Oh, cardamom, cloves, and star, star anise. And this was poured in February also. Oh, that's nice. Um, definitely I'm getting the cardamom first. And cardamom and ginger. I'm not getting cinnamon, which is okay with me, nor am I getting, I'm not getting tea or I'm not getting a milky chai. It says this is a milky chai. And I'm not getting the milkiness or the tea or the chai scent just yet. But what I could do is blend it with some, I've got lots of tea in there I could blend it with, but I needed to, I need to get that milky note. And also too, when I, when I melt it, I may, it may come out then easy peasy. This one is Celine, which is white poppy, snowdrop flowers, eucalyptus, citrus notes of yuzu, oranges, and grapefruit, along with spices, woods, and velvety musk on 218 very nice very nice this is um, a little um wow this is really really nice this is nice in a bedroom this is a little cologne uh nice not even a fresh cologne it's definitely definitely a Woodsy, sexy, velvety musk. Yes, 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 yes. Not a fresh air scent, not a sea scent. Oh, really, really, really nice. Uh, that's going to my room tonight. I'm going to keep that out. That is really nice. Bohemian Life Celine. Okay. I got to get online and look for Bohemian Life. I've never heard about that from anybody. Uh, the next one is tea and orange Danish, which is hot orange, uh, uh, hot orange Danish with a cup of steaming black tea poured in February. So that sounds really good. Nice big chunk. Oh, yum. These are really good. 
definitely, um, I'm getting the bakery from the Danish. I'm getting the black tea. I'm not getting any orange right yet. Yum, so that will be good. I'm gonna, gosh, 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 Crystal, thank you so much. It's not over yet. It is not over yet, Crystal. It's, thank you. Okay, Bohemian Life Lemon Lavender Tea Cakes. Sweet little tea cakes infused with bright lemon zest and herbal lavender buds, topped with a dollop of decadent whipped coconut cream and a steaming cup of tea. Sounds delightful. Lavender, yes. Lavender. Maybe a little bit of tea cakes, but um, mostly lavender right now. Maybe, am I getting coconut? No, I'm not. Lavender, like a little bit of a bakery lavender. And finally, but not finally, Bohemian Life Candied Violets and Lemon Sugar Cookie. A blend of warm baked lemon sugar cookies and sugar dusted violets and sandalwood. I am so excited to start melting this. Oh, wow, that one is good too. I'm getting like, I'm getting lemon and I'm getting like the, the sugar dusted violets. It's a sweet, a sweet floral with the lemon. Really, really nice. So I guess I would break that in two. There's probably you know, lots of melts here. Thank you, Crystal. Okay, not done yet. No, ma'am, not done yet. Then she sent me two samples of Zape La La Land, which is clean cotton, fresh lavender blooms, and clean dew drops. And I have this, and I love this. I love this. Yep, definitely. I have two clams of this. Uh, again, that I've been hoarding. I hoard all the stuff I love, and I need to melt the stuff I love. I mean, I have a big melting basket here, the empties. I need to do that. I'm going to do that next. Wow, that is really nice. I love La La Land. I love La La Land. If you don't have La La Land from Zape, I definitely recommend it. It is really good. And then, I don't know if she watches my videos. I think she does. Zape, date with an Englishman, sultry rose, caramel pipe tobacco, and soft vanilla bean Noel. I love this. Oh, I love this. When I placed my Zape order, I tried to order it because I saw I saw it was on the list, so I ordered it. And then uh, the owner, what is the owner's name? Is it Crystal? No, it's not Crystal. It's um, I can't remember. Uh, she emailed and said, "No, it's not available. It's only seasonal." Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If this comes back, date with an Englishman from Zape, I would order this in a loaf or whatever I can. It's definitely, I'm getting the tobacco and the caramel and a little bit of rose. It's like tobacco rose. It's tobacco rose and it is so, so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Somebody last month gave me a little snippet of it too and I, I melted it. It's gone. Oh, I love this. Please bring this back. Please bring this back. Zape, date with an Englishman. I wonder if anybody has like any and they don't want it, if they're not caring for it, I will take it off your hands, not a problem. Okay, so that's it for my little D stash, which turned into a big D stash. Thank you so much to Crystal B. I love it all. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna sign off and then you're probably gonna see me again with my weekly, well, cause it's, I have no D stash in my empties for a while. So uh, thanks again to Crystal B and I will see you soon, bye.